Uh, you could put 10 tabs along the midline and, and you won't have enough uh, support. It's just because it's uh, completely, you know, it's, it, it's, it's all in line. There's nothing supporting it against the lateral dipping. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there's at least merit to the design goal of eliminating arms that connect to the teeth? I think that's really the allure of the FME for a lot of patients is this hope of getting 100% midline expansion rather than 80-20, 70-30, 50-50, skeletal to dental. I think this uh, a lot of CBCT superimpositions that I've seen with custom Marpies do show some significant amount of dental alveolar or dental tipping um, that is part of the overall intramolar width increase, let's say. Mm -hmm. And so uh, one could argue that dental arms are always a necessary evil at best. What's your view on potentially designing custom Marpies in a way that don't involve arms? If, d if, if you use arms still, why do you use them? So again, I don't, I have not seen what, what you're describing. Uh, I, I, especially with the lateral tads, I don't, I don't find pretty much any tipping whatsoever. Hmm. So uh, there is a, there are certain physical forces that take place in, even in the custom Marpy. Uh, and there are some newer design elements that uh, are preventing those, you know, side effects from happening. So uh, if you have a if you have a custom marker, if you if you have a palette, right, mm -hmm. it's like this, and the forces all along this, if you, you know, if you have like an arch, right. So if this is the palette, teeth are somewhere here. You have uh, you're pushing the force and 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 you and you're pushing the palette aside. Right, so very often, let's say if you have a deep palate, I, I, what I what I have seen, especially in the early cases where th the split is, you know, perfect just along the midline, sometimes you may get something like this. Okay, so you, you might get a, a expansion screw, but but now your alveolus instead of going out this way, goes out this way. So <clears throat> I'd like to have everything expand parallel. And very often the, the teeth start. Uh, Upper, upper molar is starting uh, already in 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 kind of tip outward position. Mm -hmm. uh, if that's the case, <clears throat> I will design uh, my plan in order to you know constrict them after I finish my expansion. Uh, but I feel that um, using the arms to attach to the teeth is still kind of a necessary element, and and it would uh, prevent. Uh, sometimes the marpy push pinching into the tissue. If you if if you don't use any uh, newer elements to secure the the marpy over the tads, if you t take the marpy right and then just take all the bones, takes all all the teeth away. You have you have a system that could if if you have all along the midline, mm -hmm. you have a thing that could easily move up and down, right? If you if you don't have the teeth, uh, you could easily go in and pinch the tissue uh, if and sometimes you actually get intrusion of the molars with the with them like especially with the msc expansion uh, so you're saying that's how much there is of a tendency for the expander body to slide up and down the tads yeah if if if, if there is nothing limiting it it and i'm sure people who use that used to use msc a lot they will see this in, in a bunch of cases where uh, they after uh, after being after the MSC is sitting in the mouth for you know a few weeks months, you'll start seeing the 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 if it nothing holds it in place right so it's just free floating, it's the tongue pressure just push it keeps pushing it up, and if if it's not attached if it's attached to the molars it will actually intrude the molars because the whole platform comes up you will see the tads starting to stick out. Uh, out of the MSC, and people think, "Oh, the, my tads are coming out." No, those are not tads coming out. That's the actual, the whole framework gets pushed up. Into that happened the to my MSC. I had one tad in particular that was loose after yeah, a couple well, of months. One, that's a different story. Okay. But if you have you're seeing all four coming out, that's not the tads that are getting loose. If you have one tad come out, yeah, that happens. Mm -hmm. But if uh, if you have all four coming out and they're solid as a rock, that means your whole frame. Is just getting into the tissue and getting pushed into the tissue it could get quite far. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen some marpies or MSCs that are really deeply embedded into the tissue. 